are you allowing your end users just to go out and use the commercial implementations of things like ChatGPT, or do you have your own internally hosted or tenant hosted Gen AI so that they're not leaking data out through those? I did recently see that Anthropic has an article out on um, insider threat of agentic AI. I think they call it agentic misalignment, and they actually had managed they tested 16 different types of generative AI, commercial AI, and they were able in testing in some very constrained ways to get AI, the, the AI that they were testing thought that at five o'clock it was going to be turned off. And it also learned through email that this is all in a testing environment that the exec in charge of it had an extramarital affair. So it started to blackmail him. So just so much to focus on. And I think some of it is if you're using agentic AI, you need to have human validation in that and you need to be monitoring it. And you need to have a lot of the controls that you'd have in place as if it were a human being. From, from memory in that policy, we also kind of warned people don't try to add AI, meaning even if you've locked down all of the accesses to someone adding software or browser extensions, that adding AI may be a nice way to social engineer someone into clicking on malware.